Welcome back guys to another Tesla video and this time we got something pretty crazy especially about Tesla's vehicles valuations and we also do have a lot of news about the upcoming RoboTax network and also full autonomous driving next year 2021. We got Elon Musk coming in with some pretty crazy news on the software and also some boring tunnel updates since a lot of you guys seem to really like that. So first things first is let's talk about Kathy Wood and ARK Invest, which is a hedge fund. And they're one of the few people that bought Tesla around $200 before the official split around August of 2020. So they pretty much bought it all the way back when it was super duper cheap. And now they actually got a lot of money from that investment. They were called pretty crazy back then, especially giving Tesla a multi-trillion dollar valuation. And at this current moment, ARK Invest is pretty much giving Tesla, if they nail the self-driving technology, a price target of $5 trillion for the market cap. That's pretty crazy. And that's roughly $5,500 per share at this current moment. You may be wondering, will Tesla nail the full self-driving tech? Because ARK Invest recently has been making some pretty incredible investments. Virtually 90 to 95% of the companies they invest in tend to go up within the next few months or the next couple years. And they are giving Tesla a $5 trillion bullish market cap price tag if they are able to perfect the self-driving tech. Well, good news for the Tesla bulls out there because right now Elon Musk is extremely confident that Tesla will release full autonomy in some jurisdictions next year. The reason why you need to have full self-driving technology it's because you can unlock so many different industries around the driving sector. Transportation is a very expensive tether and the demand for luxury vehicles have never really stopped. But keep in mind that there's a lot of people out there who don't make a lot of money, but will absolutely love to own a Tesla Model 3, which is roughly $38,000 or $48,000 if you want the autopilot. Now keep in mind that this type of price tag is pretty pricey, but if you could have a full self-driving technology implemented in the vehicles, and then if Tesla makes their own ride hill program, very similar to Lyft and Uber, instead of you driving passengers from point A to point B, the Tesla itself will drive by itself from point A to point B. Now keep in mind that this technology is already out at this second. Auto X, which is a Chinese company backed by MediaTek and also Alibaba. They're in Shenzhen right now. There's 20 cars driving around in the giant tech city with no drivers in it. So there you go. And keep in mind that to go through regulatory approvals will be very, very tough in the US. But keep in mind that Musk, once again, is very confident that full autonomy will be out next year, especially right now, if you get the Tesla vehicles, and if you somehow get the full self-driving beta software, well, you can actually drive in inner cities and major metropolitan areas safely. I haven't really heard of any accidents at this current moment, and so far everything is pretty good. Now, you still have to be pretty alert, but of course, overall the reviews are pretty incredible, and Elon Musk is also updating the software every five to 10 days, and also preparing for an even wider beta release to every Tesla customer out there. So that's pretty incredible and I really like to see that. And this really makes me consider, huh, should I really buy a Tesla myself? Because can you imagine making $30,000 every single year from your RoboTaxi by using the Ride Hill program? Well, guess what? That's what Musk get. You can pretty much make up to $30,000 a year. So pretty much after a year or two of just your car working outside, you basically just got the car for free. And the even crazier thing is the ride hail program. Every time when you pick up a passenger, Tesla will most likely take a small percentage of that. And that is consistent daily revenue right there. Tesla pretty much is making a pretty big attack on the famous ride hail apps like Lyft and Uber, which at this current moment don't really have that many plans for robo taxis. Now, keep in mind that Uber actually is very interested in this sort of business. So we could be seeing Uber managing and also buying thousands and thousands of fully autonomous Teslas from Musk. Now, that is a lot of money made right there. And we could be seeing Tesla leading the world in autopilot technology because at this current moment, all the other major car manufacturers out there like Toyota, you got Volkswagen, you got Mercedes-Benz. Yes, some of their cars have sensors and they do detect objects and sometimes they do auto brake for you, but none of them 
could drive on the highway by itself and none of them can actually drive inside major cities. So that's a pretty big bummer for them. At this current moment, Tesla will be releasing this full autonomous driving and if they do and they seem to want to perfect it next year, this once again will unlock a lot of industries. They will implement that in semi trucks and who knows, maybe the next five years, all the semi trucks by Tesla will be driving on the road by itself with no driver. It's pretty scary and it's pretty cool at the same time. And the ride hail program will be a very, very big opportunity because now you've got even more consumers wanting to buy Tesla, which Tesla vehicles depreciate very slowly. And if you can make daily income from that, everyone is on board. A whole business will boom from this fully autonomous driving tech. And this is why ARK Invest is saying that Tesla will be hitting $5 trillion, which in the grand scheme of things may sound very crazy, but if you really look into it and you do the numbers, Tesla may actually do it. And last but not least, to wrap it up, let's talk about The Boring Company. Because on their Twitter page, they recently shared to what looks to be the first look of the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop site. I'm not going to lie though, the video does show amazing lights. The tunnel looks very good. You clearly see there's a couple Teslas around the area. And it looks really, really beautiful, all right? People seem to be very hyped up. And keep in mind that Las Vegas is actually very supportive of Elon Musk and The Boring Company. They would love to have this fast transit in their city. And keep in mind that since Las Vegas is mostly geared towards tourism, I could pretty much guarantee you if the Boring Company is very successful in setting up this loop around the whole city, they will attract a lot of tech enthusiasts from around the globe to come and check out the first Boring Tunnels. Because once again, Las Vegas is a pretty big tourist attraction hotspot. They got the casinos, they got the hotels, and now they're going for big tech. And it's really surprising to see how supportive Las Vegas and their government was to the Boring Company. They were super supportive, even asking to have a stop at the Arts Center of Las Vegas. So we will be seeing it enter in operations next year. And they are slowly raking in some of the cash. Some of the tunnels are finished. Now, let's just see what happens. I'm actually really interested to see about this whole tunnel craze. And if they really do get things set up, who knows? You might even see me traveling to Las Vegas to check it out. By this current moment, the Twitter post by the official Boring Company, this tunnel looks really incredible. The lights are really, really beautiful. And the overall staging and also the atmosphere feels very nice. This is very different from a subway feel. This feels very modern, very new, and very, very futuristic. That pretty much sums up the video. We do have a lot more news coming in, especially about the Gigafactories. We also have even more software updates. And also the autopilot is becoming better and better every couple of weeks with these updates. So definitely subscribe. Stay tuned for more Tesla news, especially how you do have some concept vehicles coming in, more competition, and also some pretty crazy valuations from other big hedge funds and also big banks. And definitely comment below.